Moin, I'm Tillmann of the Radlbande and I'm at the Eurobike 2021 at the booth of Veloe, a Italian brand which specialized on those compact cargo bikes, on mid-tail cargo bikes. And I want to show you all of those bikes and all the features that they have. All of the Veloe bikes are based on a chromoly steel frame and they all have in common that they have 24 inch wheels. So fairly small even for a mid-tail cargo bike. But the benefit is that the center of gravity here on the, on the rack and the back and in the front is fairly low. Veloe is one of the few manufacturers which have the possibility to fit two different engines into their frames. Uh, on the one hand, we have a Shimano style frame here which fits a Shimano E6100 or Shimano EP8 engine. Or on the yellow bike here, we have a bracket for a Bosch engine. And in this case, it's a Bosch Performance CX, but they also have the possibility to fit a cargo line motor. As you can see, they have many different color options. So the frames are made in Asia and Taiwan and then are transported raw to Italy where they get painted and the complete bikes get assembled. And let's take the camera and look at those bikes. Velo showcases four different bikes in four different colors and with different options. And we'll start with this blue one here in the front. This one has a Shimano E6100 motor with a 514 watt hour battery and it's combined with the chain and the Shimano Nexus E5 e-bike hub. So this is a five speed, uh, especially made stronger for the use with an e-bike. And uh, you can see the first accessory here. So, so this is a footrest for smaller children and uh, combined with this seat pad, it's from a venti seat material, which is a special um, plastic material. So it's a it's a kind of net, very strong, very sturdy. And the good thing is it's, uh, it, it can't be soaked up with water, but it's always, always fresh and breathable. So this is a great material for seat pads. We have a small front rack here, which can be combined with rack time snap it components. And how that works, I'll show you in a minute. Let's get on to the next bike because this is quite special as well. Here we have a complete cargo kid hauling accessories. <laughs> we have a big front rack with the size of 30 by 40 centimeters. So Euro boxes will fit just right. And this is a very cool and special accessory. We have this small front seat, which is directly in front of the rider. We have the seat and small footrests. So in the end, it's possible to transport three kids on one bike because this 66 centimeter long rack is capable of yeah, seating two kids. So in the end, four people on one small bicycle. Another special accessory is this big basket here in the back, which is uh, very variable as well. You can use it as a armrest for your children so your kids can sit here. And you know, on the other hand, you can use it as a real basket. Just detach this Velcro roll it up and then you can attach those velcros and you have a a big net a big box to place things and it's also capable of fitting a bigger euro box we have this seat pad again of venti seat material and then on the other hand we have seen the higher footrest and if you have to transport bigger kids you have lower footrests and these are very sturdy as well so you can also transport bigger kids or even small adults. This yellow bike is equipped with a Bosch Performance CX motor with a 500 watt hour battery, a belt drive and the Enviolo hub. You can choose between the TR and the HD version of the Enviolo hub depending on if you travel light or have to transport bigger kits and, and bigger things. But yeah, this is the, I would say, <laughs> the, the, the most capable version of the Veloe bike. And when we take a look at the orange one over there, you can see there's quite a difference in the height of the saddle and the steering because the Veloe bikes are capable of uh, placing riders between 1 meter 90 and 1 meter 50. So I'm right at the upper, band, upper end with my 1 meter 96 
but even I am capable of, of sitting on, on here and uh, stretching my leg out, so even 195 or 196 is possible. This bike then is another combination of drivetrain components. We have the 6100 Shimano steps motor again with a belt drive and again the Shimano Nexus 5e. But this time it's not manual but it's DI2. So you have the possibility to have a automatic mode and a manual mode. You can shift gears with those two buttons and it's a um, intelligence system so it learns how to shift gears depending on your liking and if you want to ride with a lower cadence or with a big with a higher cadence another accessory here we have those big cargo panniers which have one big velcro and then a possibility to to place larger and longer items and a big yeah, a big bag as well. So either you get this basket, all those panniers, both things will just work fine. This is very special as well because we have the possibility to fit, to fit bike seats, of course. And uh, this is now a Thule seat uh, with the two clamps which clamp from both sides. And uh, this is possible to yeah, fit all child seats which have those clamping mechanisms. So Harmax Caress, for instance, is also possible. And there's also a bracket um, to place onto this rack for being able to, to place a easy fit system. So with the one in the middle. This bike is equipped with a cargo line motor, a Bosch cargo line motor with 85 Newton meters of torque. And the motor software is special for cargo bikes and for the need in cargo bikes. Then we have an Enviolo hub as well, but this time combined with a chain drive. Here we have this small rack again. And the cool thing with this rack time system is that it's easy to place certain accessories. All of the Velo bikes have a maximum weight of 200 kilograms. A weight alone of 24 kilograms without battery. The special thing about those Velo bikes is that they are very short with a length of about 1 meter and 80, 1 meter 81. These are capable of fitting three kids or about 170 kilograms of freight and uh, this is a lot for, sh for such a small bike but at the same time because the wheels are 24 inch and not 20 inch it doesn't f really feel like a small bike but like a normal bike with a normal wheels. So a short ride with the Velo now and um, yeah let's see how it rides. Okay and uh, this is the Shimano E6100 motor so it's it's not the quickest not the fastest but with this small and light bicycle <laughs> it's very fast on the 25 kilometers per hour so a very quick uh, acceleration and the gear shifts are really smooth so the uh, the Shimano Nexus 5e has no problems shifting the gears with this bicycle at all yeah and it it feels very natural like a like a regular bicycle even with this um, capabilities and yeah, it's no problem to, to change uh, the direction. It's no problems to, to steer and to brake. Yes, yeah, so over, overall, a very pleasant experience. Very simple, very easy to ride. And uh, even with my size, it's no problem. I sit very upright, but there's always also the possibility to have the steering bar a little bit lower or a little bit higher even if I wanted to sit very upright very Dutch. So yeah, let's get back to the booth. The Velo Multi starts at about 1,700 euros without a motor and with the Shimano E6100 it starts at about 3,580 euros. So I think this is a great bike. It's small, it's agile, it's capable of carrying three kids at the same time and it's got, you have the choice between the Shimano and the Bosch engine and this is very rare. Please put your comments and questions below this video in the comments section. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and those bikes. And if you want to see more of the Eurobike 2021 and be there when the Radlbande is the next time on tour, 
then subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.